Can getting the flu be a test for your relationship's health? status? Yes, it absolutely can. I just experienced it and I have seen countless couples also who I've helped in couples therapy discover the same. Just two weeks ago, I was knocked flat on my back with a double whammy of both COVID and the flu. My three young sons were bouncing off the walls. I'm lying like a puddle. My poor husband was juggling both work and childcare and taking care of me. And I just felt feverish, delirious, and like a mess. It certainly wasn't a Hallmark holiday moment, but my husband passed the test and I felt so thankful for him when everything was said and done. And here's the thing, sickness in all its messy, inconvenient glory is a crucible for any relationship. It strips away the facade, exposes vulnerabilities, and forces us to rely on each other in ways that we might never have before. And the truth is some couples come out of this fire stronger while others find cracks widening. A recent study by the University of California, Berkeley found that couples who experience chronic illness are 40% more likely to divorce than those who don't. Understandably, right? It's hard. But here's the crucial takeaway. The way couples communicate and we're really the key factor in whether they thrive or crumble. Most people know about the practicalities of caregiving, the meal prep, the laundry, the endless rounds of medicine, the mental load, that annoying bell that I wish I'd had uh, to get my husband's attention. But what truly strengthens strengthens a relationship when one partner is sick is really the emotional bedrock of vulnerability and trust. In that moment when you let your guard down and you're whispering your fears like, oh my God, am I gonna die? You trust your partner to catch you and to be there for you. And you're back to being a sick kid again with being completely dependent on your parent. And when your partner shows up for you, they're stroking your forehead, they're saying, poor baby. They're listening to your ramblings, they're getting you water. They're reminding you that you're not alone and that someone cares for you when no one else would, right? There's an unspoken understanding that this is temporary and that you'll both navigate this storm together or what other future storms come. And even if they have a little attitude, maybe because who doesn't get tired and it's inconvenient and no fun to take care of a sick partner or child or anybody, they show up. That's what matters. There may be times that you remember when your partner wasn't there, when they forgot to pick up your prescription or they gave you a little attitude for asking for some more TLC. Or maybe they snapped at you for being what they called too needy or too much when you were barely able to move and in pain or struggling. Those seemingly small blips or arguments or tensions are really magnified in that fog of illness and they can start to feel like the cracks in the relationship and it can start to sour even a healthy relationship. Those times when your partner doesn't show up for you or when you don't show up for your partner during illness can chip away at your sense of trust in them. It can start to breed resentment and it can leave you questioning the very foundation of your relationship. And if those cracks go unrepaired to a future in your relationship where you're no longer feeling safe or supported or truly seen, then you might start to struggle with hurt feelings, resentment, or bitterness about how your partner responded or didn't respond during those times of illness. Know this, you're not alone. If you're struggling with the way that your partner has or hasn't really been there for you, or likewise, there's no shame in seeking help. Sometimes it's just ignorance, somebody's family history, they didn't really know how to be there for somebody when they're sick, they had a different idea of how to be there for someone who's sick. It's easy to deflect, to get defensive, to minimize your partner's needs. And so couples therapy really can provide a safe space for each of you to unpack those painful moments or seasons, to rebuild trust and to rediscover the strength and resilience that lies beneath your needs and to navigate things like forgiveness and how are we gonna be there for each other in the future showing up and how to rebuild that foundation of a relationship that is on a bedrock. If you're ready to move on beyond the hurt and to rebuild your relationship that can thrive through thick and thin, reach out. At Couples Counseling ATL, we're here to help. You can visit our website at counselingatl.com and book your first couples therapy session or a free 20 minute video call with the therapist of your choice. And remember, you don't have to weather a storm alone. Let's start healing together.